Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, we have... For this episode, we have... Well, today will be... is the last day of winter, and so that will be the New Year's Eve festival. And then tomorrow... Well, obviously that will be the first day of spring, and so we'll have quite a lot of planting to get done. Like I said, uh, to start off the day is going to be the New Year's Eve festival and the last day of winter, so hopefully we'll get some stuff from some more stones. And yeah. Oh, and of course our tomatoes are done again. This is probably going to be a bit of a short episode. I'm not quite sure if we're going to have time for three days, or what would it be, four days, yes. I'm not sure if we'll have time to go until Friday, because hey, yeah. um, kind of messed up and this is actually our second time through this day. <laughs> for the record, there wasn't any saves coming involved. It's just that uh, I kind of hit the wrong key and at the exact wrong time, and after we'd already gone through the day, we now have to go through it again. It's amazing how much your skills have grown, Ray. You look like a real farmer these days. Why, thank you. Thank you, Lloyd. Yes. See, I, I'm, I'm even getting the, I'm even getting your name right. It took me two years, and still a little bit of time, but I, I managed to get his, his name right first time. You seem really happy these days, Ray. Marriage must be nice. I want to get married someday. <laughs> oh, no, okay. See, for some reason, this does not count as Angelo's house, which means that the only dialogue that he has is of the statue. The only dialogue he has while here. Maybe there's like, maybe while he's here, in his bedroom area. That no, cause, cause we've talked to him here. We've talked to him while he was looking at his paintings right here. And that's not the case. So Angelo just doesn't have any in-house dialogue. The one point I would like to make is that we do have a couple of New Year's resolutions for the coming year. The first is to get to 10 hearts with Hep <gasps> Amethyst! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! That's one of the best things you can get from an ore stone. Anyway, so 10 hearts with everyone in town is is one of our one of our two goals. And then the other one is, of course, to get the bazaar to 100%, which shouldn't be too difficult, especially once we start actually shipping five-star crops. That's pretty nice. You're giving it to me? Uh, thanks. Reaching 10 hearts with everyone is going to be a little difficult, especially when it comes to Amir and Raul. I think we should probably have Amiko covered, but... Amir and Raul are going to be a bit difficult. We're going to need to find something that Raul likes. We could probably give him bronze coins every day, but I would rather try and find something else to be given him. It's because, well, we still haven't won any magic water at the Super Lucky Lotto. So, yeah. All those people saying, luckiest file, where's my magic water? If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and my personal favorite, let me know any thoughts you have down below. All of that stuff really does help me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. Don't talk to Marion about marriage. She might get gross. It makes the best coffee and tea. That's why we always have customers here in the cafe. Okay, but there's there's something else. Make sure you make time for your spouse. If you don't talk to each other, you'll drift apart. Yeah, don't talk to Marion about marriage. She'll get cross. Definitely. That was Marion enraged. Has Marion ever been enraged? I mean, I imagine... Well, married, li married life seems like so much fun. You look so happy every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like this a lot. You've got pretty good taste. I feel like I can always count on you, Ray. And every time I see you, it puts a smile on my face. At least she doesn't openly hit on you while you're married like Daisy and Antoinette do. You know how I work part-time at the cafe now? I've been thinking it'd be cool if I started my own cafe one day. Yeah, a little fact about Dirk is that he's actually really good with the cooking. He's a pretty darn good cook, and actually one of the things that he does at the cafe is he does help cook every once in a while. House dialogue, it, it changes depending on heart level. So, you know how Marion talked about, like, oh, you know, the cafe always has customers because Joan is such a good cook? That, that's different than it was 10,000 friendship points ago. So like, for example, this right here is the house dialogue area for everyone, ex for, for everyone that lives in this house. And uh, um, Lauren and Cindy will sit, have a different dialogue when they're getting tutored, but otherwise it's it's the it's their house dialogue. So for example, compromise is the key to a good marriage. You have to be willing to meet your spouse halfway. I really like this, thanks. My parents are pretty well off. The house I grew up in was huge. When I first saw this house, I couldn't believe it. Wilbur built this house for Nelly and me. He really made a sturdy and wonderful home. And so, for example, Isaac talks about how, talks about the home at his current heart level, but, you know, when he was, but 10,000 friendship points ago, he would talk about something else, and then 10,000 friendship points from now, he'll talk about something else. So, that's the thing, is that the house dialogue, it, it changes depending on the heart level. And Angelo doesn't seem to have house dialogue. And so that's what I was talking about, is that he doesn't have dialogue that changes based on heart level when he's in his house. And he do therefore he doesn't have dialogue that changes based on heart level. Ready to start the New Year's festivities? Let's start. Great! Let's get started! Glad you all could make it! It's time to usher in the new year! It's almost time! Everyone ready? Okay! Three, two, one! Happy New Year! Let's make the next year a great one! up and celebrate everyone! Here's to another good year! I'm glad to see us foregoing the wine on account of Sherry's pregnancy. Today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. Alright, now I'm going to drink some tea and hopefully not accidentally hit reset button. Oh right, the first thing we should get done every morning now is to water our crops, and in order to water our crops, well, we kind of need to plant them first now, don't we? And all of that time spent getting our inventory ready, and I forgot the hoe. I'm sorry. Now... Hey, go! And then... Hey, go! In two shots. Now, isn't that nice? Although, actually, we're going to be leaving one row empty because we're hopefully going to be picking up some cabbage seeds at the bazaar this week. Hopefully. That's the final spring crop that we have yet to be able to get. Eaters. And then... Burgos. Burgos is the cat at the theater door. His name as I ought to have told you before is really Asparagus. But that's such a fuss. Do you pronounce that we usually call him? Just go. 
We got so many extra cucumber seeds that we just do not need. And because it's a new year, that also means that the forageables have increased in quality, and that includes the branches and the weeds. And so we're going to be able to make much higher quality fertilizer. Coffee. Donut or french fries? Hmm, actually. Let's have some french fries. Some chips, as the British call them. So, because we picked up some chamomile, um, it'd be- what am I doing? It'd be nice to make some, uh, good herb butter. Or not some good herb butter, we don't know. Some herb butter, just so we, that we can fix the issue with our- with our current predicament with the oil. And also, we should make some great mayonnaise. Because, well, we got a golden egg. Our first harvest of olives, we're going to be moving this. We're going to be we're going to be chopping down this tree, and making olive trees, and we are going to be planting uh, something in this place. Hold on, not that apple tree. We're going to be planting an apple tree in its place, uh, and or a blueberry tree, one of the two. But one spot here will be for an apple tree, and one spot here will be for a blueberry tree. And actually, come to think of it, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to actually plant one of them. Sure, we'll plant the blueberry tree. And we need the hoe. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to put away the hoe. That, I mean, why would we need that? By the way, so I was trying to I was trying to talk about this the last stream uh, that I got a new tea uh, that I was that I had started drinking yesterday, a new green tea, and uh, the problem that a lot of green teas have is that they taste like nothing. But this one that I got is that is really like oh it's so good. This it's Moroccan mint and it's just absolutely delicious and actually has full and see that's the thing is like even when i brew green tea strong which is you know how i prefer it it still so often just tastes like hot water with a little bit of flavoring in it but this one not only does it taste good it smells fantastic i opened up the tin that i got the tea in that i got the green tea in and it just the the flavor, the the smell, just, just hit me, and it was just, it was fantastic. Oh my goodness! As long as you get the right green tea and you brew it correctly, it won't taste like hot water. And this particular green tea does not. In fact, it tastes quite fantastic. Oh no! I can't believe we forgot. I can't believe I forgot to water the basement crops yesterday. Oh well, that delays when we can switch to fall crops by a day, but it should still be fine. I mean, we'll have plenty of fall seeds. Hmm, this needs just a little off here. Well, this is rare. Antoinette, what brings you here? Can I take a look at some of your art? <laughs> yes, of course. What would you like to see? I'll just browse. Don't mind me. Sure, go ahead. What do you think? See anything you liked? <gasps> Not really. Oh, uh, 
I see. That's too bad. Well, this is awkward. I should go. Alright then, I'm going to work hard until even Antoinette is impressed. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? And that is the event known as Antoinette's Art Curiosity, which uh, did not actually intend to trigger this episode, but well, that's the thing about random events, is that sometimes they'll trigger when you don't expect them. Well, it's not so much that I didn't expect, it, it's that, like, on my normal route, it it wouldn't have triggered. But because of all these inventory issue things that's been going on, I got to Angelo's house later than I usually would, and, and so ended up triggering that event. So unfortunately, because we can no longer get access to easy ore stones, our only source of ore stones is from the river now. We, we kind of had to go back to farming. No more jewelry making for us. Not until next winter, anyway. Well, this is probably going to be a short episode, and if it is, then I am sorry about that. But that's really just going to have to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.